Number 10. Trees That Bleed Imagine you're walking in the forest and you slice into a tree trunk expecting pale wood, only to see deep crimson liquid dripping out like blood. This isn't a horror film prop. It's the dragon's blood tree in Socotra and the eucalyptus trees in Australia, both producing sap so red it looks like the tree is bleeding. For centuries, this eerie phenomenon fueled myths. Ancient societies believed the trees were living guardians of the forest, bleeding when wounded. The resin was used in potions medicine and even as dragon's blood ink by alchemists who thought it contained supernatural power. What's fascinating is how biology explains it. The red sap isn't blood. It's a cocktail of defensive compounds, essentially tree antibiotics designed to fight off fungi and insects. But the psychological impact is undeniable. Humans instinctively associate red with blood and injury. So seeing a tree bleed triggers a primal discomfort, even stranger. Some indigenous rituals use this sap in ceremonies for protection or curse breaking, reinforcing the illusion that the trees themselves carried a spirit. In modern science, researchers are finding antibacterial and antiviral properties in dragon's blood resin suggesting the myths of its healing powers weren't entirely misplaced. Nature often hides function behind fear, and here it's survival chemistry disguised as horror theater. Number 9. Fish That Right Picture standing on a beach looking down at a shallow lagoon and seeing giant circles perfectly etched into the sand, like alien crop circles under the sea. No, it's not extraterrestrials, it's the Japanese pufferfish. This modest little fish, barely a foot long, spends days obsessively carving six-foot-wide geometric patterns in the sand, using only its fins. Perfect symmetry radiating spikes and intricate ripples, like a mandala drawn by an underwater monk. Scientists first thought it was random disturbance, but eventually discovered the true purpose courtship. These patterns are fish architecture, love letters written in sand. What makes it bizarre is the sheer precision. Without tools, without measuring devices, this creature produces radial designs more exact than most human freehand drawings. Even stranger when a female arrives, she doesn't just admire the pattern. She examines the fine details like the depth of ridges and even the decorative shells placed on the edges. If impressed, she lays her eggs in the very center, a home turned into a nursery. The mystery is psychological, as much as biological. Why is aesthetic beauty, the kind we see in art, also wired into fish mating strategies? It hints at a deeper truth. Perhaps beauty itself is not a human invention, but an ancient evolutionary language written into the world. Number 8. Fungi that control minds. If you've seen zombie horror films, you know the terror of a parasite taking over your body. In nature, that's not fiction. It's the nightmare reality of cordyceps fungi. When spores land on an ant, the fungus begins infiltrating its body. It doesn't just consume the ant, it rewires its brain. Suddenly, the ant abandons its normal routines compelled to climb high onto a branch or leaf. Once in position, the ant clamps down with a death grip, locking itself in place. Then the fungus sprouts grotesque stalks straight out of the ant's body, releasing new spores to rain down on its colony below. What unsettles scientists isn't just the biology, it's the precision. The fungus somehow knows how to manipulate behavior without completely destroying motor function until the last moment. That's the horror-free will hijacked by chemistry. This parasitic strategy inspired countless horror stories and even video games like The Last of Us. But here's the misunderstood science. While it looks apocalyptic, cordyceps also has medical promise. Certain species are now being studied for immune system benefits and anti-cancer properties. In other words, the same force that zombifies ants might one day save human lives. Nature rarely gives us monsters without also offering medicine hidden inside their terror. Number 7. Flowers. That smell like death. Imagine walking through a botanical garden, inhaling sweet floral air, when suddenly a scent slams into your senses, rotting flesh. No, it's not a crime scene. It's the Titan Aurum, also known as the corpse flower. This plant grows taller than most people with a massive bloom that opens like some sinister chalice. But the true horror is the odor. The stench mimics decaying animal flesh so well, it attracts flies, beetles, and other insects that normally feast on carcasses. These unsuspecting guests crawl inside, spreading pollen from one monstrous bloom to another. From a psychological perspective, it's unsettling because smell is the most primal of senses. Unlike sight or hearing, scent bypasses rational thought and punches straight into the brain's fear and disgust centers. So, when you catch that whiff, your body reacts with nausea before your mind even processes it. That's evolutionary wiring meant to keep us away from rot and disease. Here's the twist beneath the horror, the corpse flower is actually fragile. It takes years to build enough energy to bloom, and the bloom itself may last only a day or two. Entire cities line up at greenhouses when one is scheduled to open just to experience this living nightmare in person. Horror becomes spectacle, and disgust becomes fascination. Proof that humans are drawn to darkness when it's safely behind glass. Number 6. The Ice That Burns Think of a cube of ice. You drop it into your hand expecting coolness. But what if the ice bursts into flames? Welcome to methane hydrate, often called burning ice. Deep beneath the seafloor and in frozen permafrost, 
Nature stores vast amounts of methane trapped in crystalline cages of water. To the eye, it looks like normal ice. But hold a flame near it, and suddenly the ice ignites with a ghostly blue fire. It's a paradox of nature, something frozen cold, yet burning hot. The horror comes not from the fire itself, but from the implications. Methane hydrate is so abundant that it's considered one of the largest untapped fuel reserves on Earth. But if destabilized, say by melting permafrost, it could release catastrophic amounts of greenhouse gas, supercharging climate change. It's the sleeping giant of global warming locked beneath our feet. Ancient sailors told stories of flaming seas, likely sparked by natural methane seeps igniting on the ocean's surface. Today, scientists look at methane hydrate with both excitement and dread. It's energy we could use, but also a trigger for environmental disaster. Ice that burns becomes a chilling reminder. Sometimes the strangest natural patterns are ticking. Time bombs waiting for the right conditions. Number five, animals. That rain from the sky. You're walking down the street umbrella in hand, when suddenly, not raindrops, frogs start pelting the pavement, or fish, or even worms. Sounds like a biblical plague, right? Yet, it's a real phenomenon. Throughout history, there have been reports of animals literally raining from the sky. In 1873, thousands of frogs allegedly fell on Kansas City. In 2005, tiny fish dropped from the heavens over a village in Serbia. The explanation water spouts, tornado-like whirlwinds that can suck up small animals from lakes or rivers and deposit them miles away. The unsettling part isn't the science, it's the randomness. You expect rain maybe hail, but not amphibians bouncing off your car windshield. It feels like reality itself, glitching. Psychologists note that such events trigger the same part of the brain that processes horror or uncanny phenomena. Our sense of normalcy cracks, and suddenly the world feels less stable, less predictable. Religions and folklore once treated these rains as omens. Fish falling from the sky symbolized abundance. Frogs divine punishment. But nature doesn't care about symbolism. To it, animals raining from the sky are simply collateral damage in a chaotic weather pattern. For us, though, it's another reminder that the natural world can twist ordinary physics into spectacles that feel supernatural. Number four, the forest that whispers. You've probably heard the phrase trees talk to each other. It sounds like fantasy, but it's rooted in real science. Forests are connected underground by a vast fungal network nicknamed the wood wide web. Through this network, a trees exchange nutrients, chemical warnings, and even electrical signals. A sick tree can receive carbon from a healthier neighbor. A mother tree can feed her saplings through the soil. And when pests attack one tree, others nearby receive chemical alerts boosting their defenses before the threat even arrives. The eerie part is how coordinated it feels. It's as if the forest itself has a nervous system. Walk through an old growth woodland and you're not just surrounded by silent giants. You're inside a living conversation, one that continues whether you're listening or not. Psychologists say part of the creepiness comes from agency. We're comfortable thinking of animals as social, but when plants show communication, it challenges our categories of life. It's unsettling because it blurs the line between animate and inanimate. It feels like the forest is watching us, whispering about us. But far from horror, this hidden network also reveals resilience. Deforestation doesn't just cut down trees. It shatters an invisible web of cooperation. The horror is not that forests whisper, but that we might silence them without realizing the cost. Number three, the ocean that glows. Imagine standing on a dark beach. Waves crash in, but instead of black water, they light up with ghostly blue fire. Each ripple glows, every footprint leaves a trail of light. It's not magic, it's bioluminescence. Marine plankton called dinoflagellates can emit light when disturbed. The result is milky seas, vast glowing waters that can stretch for miles. Sailors once feared they had entered otherworldly realms, describing oceans lit like the heavens. Even today, stumbling onto a glowing shoreline feels like stepping into a dream or a nightmare. The pattern is defensive when disturbed, the plankton glow startling predators, or attracting bigger predators to scare them off. It's like a burglar alarm wired into the sea itself. The paradox is that this natural defense creates one of the most breathtaking displays of beauty on Earth. But here's the horror twist. In some cases, glowing seas signal something dangerous. Bioluminescent algae blooms can also be toxic suffocating fish and poisoning waters. What looks enchanting from the surface may hide death beneath. Nature again delivers that strange blend of awe and menace beauty that conceals danger. Scientists now even use satellites to track these glowing events from space, but nothing compares to the shock of seeing an entire ocean light up under your feet. It's a reminder that even darkness in nature is never truly empty. Something is always glowing back. Number two, the rocks that move themselves. You're walking across a dry desert lake bed and notice something bizarre massive rocks some weighing hundreds of pounds have dragged trails behind them as if they've been crawling across the ground on their own. Welcome to Death Valley's Sailing Stones. For decades, people speculated, were they moved by pranksters, earthquakes, or some supernatural desert force? 
The mystery deepened because the rocks sometimes shifted miles, slowly carving long, winding tracks into the desert floor. The truth is stranger than fiction. On rare winter nights, a thin sheet of ice forms beneath the rocks. As when the ice begins to thaw under the morning sun, even light breezes can nudge the rocks forward. The ice works like a conveyor belt, carrying stones silently across the playa. The unsettling part is the illusion of agency. Trails zigzag across the desert like messages written in code, leaving us wondering what intelligence carved them. It's a classic example of misunderstood science, a natural process that feels ghostly until explained. But even knowing the answer, the image lingers. Giant rocks inching across the desert as if they're alive. That eerie blend of science and spectacle is what makes the sailing stones one of the strangest patterns in nature. Number one, the spirals that rule everything. Picture a sunflower. Look closely at its seeds and you'll notice spirals curling outward in perfect symmetry. Now, look at a hurricane from space, a seashell, or even the arms of a galaxy. They all share the same spiral pattern. This is the Fibonacci sequence, a hidden code woven into nature. The sequence goes 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13. And so, on each number, the sum of the two before it. When plotted, it forms the golden spiral, which appears everywhere in the natural world. Sunflower seeds align this way because it's the most efficient packing system. Pine cones, pineapples, and even Romanesque cauliflower follow the same logic. Hurricanes spin into spirals for stability. Galaxies swirl because of gravitational balance, the unsettling part. It feels like the universe is following an invisible architect's blueprint. Patterns emerge in plants, storms, and stars that no one designed, yet they echo each other with eerie precision. Some mathematicians argue this is simply efficiency written into physics. Others suggest something deeper, that our perception of beauty, symmetry, and order comes from living in a universe built on these numbers. Psychologists add another twist. Humans are naturally drawn to Fibonacci spirals. We label them beautiful without realizing we're wired to prefer them. In art architecture, even human faces the golden ratio often dictates what we find pleasing. In other words, the same sequence that arranges sunflower seeds may also decide who we find attractive. So next time you see a spiral, whether in a seashell or a storm, remember you're staring at the universe's signature, a cosmic fingerprint stamped across everything. That's it for today. I'll be doing similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.